What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. Today I have great news for those of you on iOS 15.3.1 and lower. Yes, a brand new kernel vulnerability usable for jailbreak has been released out of the blue. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, which allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. You can manage your photos, music and so on with a click of a button. Check it out in the link below. Also, huge thank you to the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon. They are right now on your screen. So just a couple of hours ago, security researcher John Ackerblom posted, quote, iOS 15.4 fixes a kernel vulnerability introduced in iOS 15.0 beta that causes corruption of IPCK messages, leading to the powerful primitive that can be used for local privilege escalation from web content and app sandbox. And the security company Senactive posted this, quote, this proof of concept is even tweetable, and they basically posted a proof of concept for this vulnerability John Ackerblom is talking about. And yes, as you can see, it really does fit this tweet over here. That's the whole proof of concept for this vulnerability. And of course, this is not itself an exploit, just a bug, but it can still be exploited. But as Jake James says in their tweet over here, it's iOS 15.3.1 proof of concept, but also it should go without saying bug or no bug, you should stay on the lowest version possible. Jake James is one of the jailbreak developers in our community who have built jailbreaks before, so they do know what they're talking about. And I know you're going to tell me, well, I stayed on 14.6 or 14.7 or 14.8 and there's still no jailbreak and there's still no bug for some devices. Well, you're still better off than people who updated the iOS 15, because iOS 15 and newer have way bigger problems that need to be fixed, and any jailbreak that will be released will likely be released as rootless, which of course is a much more limited jailbreak than the standard ones we had for iOS 14 or 13 and so on. So yes, it may take some time for an iOS 14.8, 14.7.1 and so on exploit to be released for some of the devices that are missing right now on exploit, but once it does, you will have a proper jailbreak like Uncover or Torin work currently on older versions. But for iOS 15, there is a complete paradigm shift. We're going to have to use rootless jailbreaks, there are still a lot of things to bypass, and the A12 Plus devices are even particularly harder to jailbreak than before. So yes, it's still a better idea to stay as low as possible, even though bugs are being released left, right and center for iOS 15. It's not only the bug that is the problem on iOS 15, even with a bug you still need to go rootless or find a way to bypass the sealed rootFS and there are still problems with PAC or pointer authentication code. But yeah, if you already did the mistake to update the 15.3.1, there is now a vulnerability available. And by the way, 15.3.1 is still signed at the time I'm making this video. It's 15.4 which was just released and 15.3.1 so you can still downgrade if you already updated the 15.4 and stay on 15.3.1 if you're on 15.4. If you're on anything lower stay where you are. This bug would work on 15.3.1, probably 15.3, 15.2.1 and 15.2 as well because as you can see it says in here that the iOS 15.4 fixes a kernel vulnerability that was first introduced in 15.0 beta so this vulnerability should be present on anything from 15.0 all the way up to 15.3.1, which is definitely great because we can use this to update Taurine or even Uncover. But of course it does require an exploit to be created around it first. So yeah, pretty good news for those of you who missed the train to stay on 15.1.1 or lower for the previous vulnerability by Brideyap. Well, right now there is another vulnerability for you as well. Just please do not update further. Every update shrinks your possibility to jailbreak because it's not only the bug that needs to be released anymore. Apple is stepping up their game and the more you update, the more security techniques your device will have that will of course hinder jailbreaking. Thank you for watching, I am Gio Snow, until the next time, peace out.